Welcome back to Tightly Pack TV, live from Interpark. We're sending to you all day long from in between halls 7 and 9. And if you've missed any of our earlier talks, be sure to check them out at interpark.com or packagingjournal.de. You can find all of the talks from today and the following days and also the last two days there. And for our English program, it's all about international markets today. And we're going to look right now at the Chinese packaging market and another fair which is taking place there. And with me is Evian Gu, Division Director of Messe Düsseldorf in Shanghai. Welcome and thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Julia. It's my great honor to be here and to accept your, your interview. Thank you. Um, so you, in a second, you're going to tell us more about um, yeah, a packaging fair that's taking place in China, in Shanghai. Maybe before that, you can tell us a bit more uh, about yourself and um, what you're doing here, what you're doing in China. Hello, everyone. I'm Evian. I'm from Massachusetts of Shanghai. Our office is based in Shanghai, China. So we are the subsidy of Massachusetts of Group. Uh, we organize the shows uh, in the packaging industry, uh, print industry, plastic industry, uh, and uh, all of the shows are related to our shows in the headquarters, such kind of the Interpack and Duper and the K show. And uh, here, I would like to introduce uh, the like the packaging shows in China about swap. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, tell us a bit more about that packaging fair. Like I already said, it's in China. Maybe you can tell us um, how does that fair differ from Interpac here in Germany? Oh uh, yes, Interpac is the, the I would say the number one packaging shows in the world. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'm so happy to see uh, so many visitors today. Even today is Saturday, and uh, a lot of people talking each other on site. So that's great to see the business is back. Uh, and uh, because Interpac is so successful, and our headquarters decided to uh, make Interpac like an engine to help the other uh, countries to develop uh, de develop the packaging shows in each country. Such as uh, since China is a super potential market, so our swap show was uh, started since 2015. It was the first show in the packaging uh, industry and uh, ha supported from the Interpac team. Uh, and the swap and we the swap was here the, uh, every two years is a biennial show. Uh, the mainly are uh, exhibitors including the packaging equipment, packaging materials, uh, and the packaging products. So we planned for this show to be a, a whole supply chain and in the packaging industry in China. Uh, and besides that, I would like to introduce a little bit. Uh, this time, we have a very big team to visit Interpac. One reason is um, after six years, and we are so eager to see the packaging, the world number one show again. Uh, and the second reason is because we bring a very large Chinese exhibitors delegations to be here, around 300 Chinese exhibitors with more than 8,000 square meter net space and uh, who uh, participate in Interpac this time. Uh, so benefit from the Interpac, our swap also will have uh, a lot of like international companies like Modivac and they are our companies at the swap this year. So I'm much looking forward to see the uh, packaging industry business come back in China again. Yes, you've already told me that you have also been here the first few days of Interpac and probably already wandered around the halls and taking a look at everything. Um, are there any impressions you can tell us about, like what, ha what has been very inspiring or interesting so far? Yeah, first of all, I would appreciate the weather. It's perfect weather <laughs> it these is. days. It's warm, <laughs> not so cold. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you, the weather. And uh, secondly, uh, I was, uh, yes, I was a little, I would say the visitors are more than I expect mm -hmm. uh, before I came here, because you know, um, 
yeah, when we after the, the, the difficult times, so uh, so I curious if the business is really back to the normal. But uh, I'm so glad to see so many people yeah, are on the fair ground and uh, and I can see everyone's face. They are smiling, talk to each other. So um, so this is more than our expectation. Uh, another side, uh, yeah, during the uh, the, the past two days, my team already talked to uh, several our Chinese customers, and uh, almost 100% uh, uh, from them are the positive feedbacks. Yeah, they are so so happy and uh, talk to their worldwide visit uh, or customers, and they get a lot of like um, potential new customers. That's which is very good for them and also for group for Interpack. So some of them already asked my colleagues to reserve their booths for the next edition of Interpack. That would be great. Um, but of course, Interpack always fully occupied. So we always, yeah, we were also asked them, yeah, don't forget the Chinese market, also very high potential for them. And uh, yeah, you can also yeah, participate in Swap because we have an uh, international exhibition and we also will welcome a lot of international visits to be there. Mm -hmm. Let's go a bit more into detail about that. Um, we've already mentioned how what an international fair Interpack is, looking at Swap. Um, does the audience or the visitors, do they differ from what we're seeing here? I would say the visitor uh, uh, sectors are almost the same from the eight topics, eight main target visitor group, including like the food, uh, confectionery, bakery, and uh, uh, beverage, and the uh, uh, cosmetic, and uh, uh, non-food and uh, industry goods, and uh, the I would say the visitor target groups are all the same. But from the uh, international part, um, of course, for Swap in China, we more attract the visitors in the uh, Asia. Yeah, in the Asia. Yeah, last time, uh, last time Swap was held in 2017. Uh, 29, sorry, 2019, and uh, we attracted uh, around 13 countries, yeah, uh, more than 30,000 uh, visitors to swap. Mm, so, yeah, and this year, you know, at the beginning of this year, China opened its door, and uh, I, I would say it's no problem for them, for the international visitors and the expeditors to apply for the visa to China. So here, I'm much looking forward to the international uh, visitors to visit Swap again. Mm -hmm. um, looking at the market in Asia and maybe China as well, are there any different trends when looking at packaging? Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, some are the we are have the same topic like uh, in, in Interpack like the uh, sustainability part. Yeah, in China we also have such kind of the topic, but we call it uh, green power. Mm -hmm. And uh, this topic is very popular in China. And uh, some part, um, I would say Interpack will be uh, far ahead. Yeah, in the Europe, in the European market, we are being more far ahead than China. So uh, we will not use such kind of topics. But uh, some um, special topics, like we will call it Z generation, because in China we notice the some young people. Yeah, they are more focused on the packaging and um, or the, the the pack. And if you choose something, you will firstly to see yeah how fancy it or yeah how attractive it. Uh, so this topic is special in China and yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Are you then also expecting a lot of young visitors come into the fair? Yes, it's the packaging tomorrow, a future, I would say, like Interpack's slogan, make for tomorrow. We always look for, forward and we will look forward to the young people, the, I would say, packaging's future to come to our show. Mm -hmm. I guess these fairs are also always an opportunity not only to bring international um, partners together, but also, yeah, from every age and, yeah, yeah. lovely. Um, 
Looking at Interpack Alliance, because um, if I'm mistaken, please correct me, but Swap is also part of Interpack Alliance. What role does this alliance play and how important is this, um, yeah, maybe cooperation and exchange and having these fairs in different countries, you think? I would say Interpack Alliance was set up around 2015, the same year when Swap uh, started. And uh, Interpack Alliance uh, just like an umbrella. And under the umbrella, there are a lot of uh, packaging shows in each country. Like in China, we have Swap. And in Egypt, we have uh, Af Africa packaging, mm -hmm. something like that. Uh, and but in each country, we have the different uh, like important points. In in China, like I said, we more focusing maybe on Z generation, the young people, and, and the packaging design, this part. Maybe in the other side, in, in Africa, in Egypt, they were more focusing on the food side packaging. Yes. Uh, and, uh, but all of these uh, shows, we are all benefited from the Interpack because Interpack has so many like lawyer uh, customers and uh, they are the fans of Interpack. Uh, and uh, for example, our Chinese customer, they think uh, as long as follow the shows which organized by Master um, Dusseldorf and uh, that means the show's quality and uh, the show's level can be, um, how to say, uh, can be very good and, uh, and uh, as the Dusseldorf Messer, and we would like to help them to explore their business all over the world. So I think that's the idea why we have Interpack Alliance mm -hmm. and all of the shows, all of the world the packaging shows, and the bread of Interpack Alliance, we are all benefited from it. Lovely. Um, looking ahead, the Interpack is still going to be here for a few days. Is there something you are particularly looking forward to? I know you told me that you will be here for all of the days as well. Yes, another very um, attractive thing is at Interpack, I will always notice the new things or innovation part. Uh, I remember last edition, um, we have the sale food. It's the very um, popular topic uh, or in the world, and it, uh, we have the sale for foreign at Interpack, so we also uh, use this topic in China. And uh, this time I noticed it's called uh, like warm packaging, yeah, which Women will be held yeah. on May 8th. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely I will attend the, the, the topic because I'm a woman, yeah. So I'm interested it was talking about to show the woman's power. Yeah, so uh, this part is, I'm much looking forward to it. Maybe a um, quick question for you. As you just said, you are a woman in packaging. What, um, are there any challenges or something you would wish to change for women in the industry? Oh, I think now the woman and, uh, becomes more and more powerful. For example, in our uh, company, Duset of Shanghai, Duset of Shanghai um, around 80% in product is are ladies. Oh. Uh, yeah, so, so I think in the packaging, uh, for women, uh, they are more um, or sensitive or have more thoughts and, uh, and they are very, yeah, they are, uh, for example, if you choose a car for women, yeah, they prefer to see the color or how it looks like. And if you choose the, uh, something good, uh, you will more focus on the packaging, actually. Yeah. So I would say the woman will be um, to lead the trend of the packaging development. So let men to do the machinery, something like that. Yeah. But a uh, woman will be um, good at it for the design part. Okay. Coming back to Swap, why should people come and attend your fair in Shanghai? If you would like to explore your business in China, including the Asia, and uh, a swap is a uh, must-to-be stop yeah, uh, in your plan. Uh, yeah, I was. Uh, I would like to announce swap will be held in November 23rd to 25th this year uh, in Shanghai at the Shanghai International Expo Center. A very 
archaeological fairground with the, um, around 60,000 square meter grass space, around 700 exhibitors will participate. So here I would like to in welcome all the customers who are at Interpac to visit SWAP. Thank you so much. Thank you for stopping you, by and Julian. talking to Thank us. Thank you very much. Yeah. It was lovely and gave us, I think, a good impression of SWAP in Shanghai and also, again, of how Interpac Alliance um, yeah, brings together people and different countries and the industry. Thank you so much, and I wish you good luck with everything. Yay. Yeah, have a nice day. Thank you. You Thank too. You. Thank you. Thank you.